Ethan Bludgeon Larms here, and this is System Test 15. Welcome to System Test 15. In this system test, I've got a bit of a two-stage setup. All right, so for the pole stations, over here I have my Simplex 2099-9756, my Notifier NBG12SL, and my Notifier BNG1. And then over here by the door, I have the FCI MS2. Up here, I have my system sensor CHSR. It is set to single chime and 15 candela. And then over here, I have two SPSR speaker strobes. They are both set to 15 candela. Additionally, above the panel, I have two things. A relay and my voice module. So, that'll be interesting. So basically, what setup I've got here is any of the initiating devices will put the system into stage one. The strobes do not flash during stage one. And additionally, the speakers will play a we are verifying this alarm message. And both of the messages will are custom made as well. So I made them. So uh, that'll be interesting as well. And to put it into stage two, the key switch. The key switch will put the system into stage two. So this kind of setup is pretty useful for buildings that really want to prevent false alarms. And so basically any initiating device, they'll have to actually verify that there is an emergency before it puts everything into evacuation. So, and additionally, the drill option in the panel will also immediately put it into stage two. Uh, for some reason, manual evac actually does not put it into stage two. And also, this is going to act sort of like a true system test because I haven't 100% tested this. I tested this before changing some of the programming, but I changed a bit of a programming around and haven't tested it since. So I'm hoping that this does work the same way it did before switching around the programming. But let's test that out by activating the NBG12 SL. So here we go. Gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Attention, this is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. Attention. This is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. Alright, so I did forget to mention we also have my simplex sync module in there. They'll be uh, syncing up the strobes. I tried to use the panel's built-in smart sync functions to sync up the strobes, but that actually did not sync the strobes. So 
I'm using the sync module, which does sync up the strokes. I don't know why it's different like that, but I guess it is. Okay, well, but yeah, so looks like uh, everything does work as intended. So I'm gonna go ahead and reset the system. And system reset complete. And system normal. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna log in to level two. And I'm going to begin a fire drill. So um, normally I would do like manual evac, but for some reason manual evac actually doesn't um, trigger second stage. Uh, and it acts as if an initiating device were activated, whereas drill does put the system into second stage. So I'm gonna do drill. But anyways, yeah, so, and the whole staging system here, what I've done is, it's just relays, and these relays are tied to alarm group 98, which is only this. This is the only device on alarm group 98. On my old setup, I had the automatic detectors also on 98, uh, but for this test, I put them on 97, and 97 flips this relay up here, which activates uh, the verification message. And so uh, with manual evac, it only flips this one relay up here, whereas drill flips both relays. And this relay right here is the one that I need flipped in order to uh, play the evacuation message. So let's hit enter on drill. This is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. Attention. This is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. All right. Silence. Reset. That didn't reset. <laughs> there we go. All right. So let's try activating this pulsation. Gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. Let's silence that and Activate the simplex pulsation. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by near And additionally, with my old programming, I had it set up so that way activating two pulsations would put it into second stage as well. But with this current programming, uh, it requires the key switch or drill to put it into second stage. But anyways, let's activate this pulsation over here now. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by. Alright, let's put it into second stage. This is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. Attention. This is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. All right. 
and let me also grab a small screwdriver if I can get it in the hole. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. So this is interesting here. I still alarm. can't figure out While what to do about this. this alarm, please stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Yeah, I still don't know what to do exactly about that, but basically, if you silence it and then reactivate something that puts it into stage one, it'll go into stage one, but the strobes will keep flashing as if it was stage two. I don't know what to do about that. Um, but, oh well, I guess. Anyways, we've activated basically everything, but I'm also going to smoke test that uh, smoke detector up there. So let me... that. It's not resetting, is it? <laughs> takes a definitely takes a moment to uh, get used to having to press reset twice sometimes. Once to exit a menu, stupid. It it really should act as if like when you hit reset or alarm silence or acknowledge when it's on one of these press any keys, it should still do that function. It's so, like right now it says reset complete press any key. If there was a trouble and I were to hit trouble acknowledge. It wouldn't actually acknowledge it. It would just back out of that menu. But yeah, I wish it did work like that. But um, oh well, not much I can do about it. I, I don't have access to the source code for this panel software. So I can't modify it myself. All right, so let me grab my smoke detector tester. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, and also you might have noticed that this table over here uh, is different than normal. It's uh, temporary. We're doing some stuff to this room. Uh, in the future, in the very near future, actually. So uh, this has been just moved temporarily. It'll be moved back, okay? Don't worry. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and... And let's go ahead and test the smoke detector. Any moment now. Right, it's on verification. I forgot about that. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. An emergency condition has been reported in the building. We are investigating the cause of the alarm. While we are verifying this alarm, please stand by near the speakers for further instructions. Now here's something I have not ever actually tested before in a video at least. Let's make sure that the panel can detect troubles properly. Oh, sounds good. And then of course... That might re-alarm, but oh well. The trouble did not clear, interestingly enough, actually. Um, hmm. I don't know. We are It'll probably clear when I reset the system, though. Oh, and it has re-alarmed. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Eh, let's throw it into second An stage. Attention, this is an emergency announcement. A fire has been reported in the building. Please evacuate the building immediately using the nearest exit. Do not use elevators. Evacuate using the nearest exit. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and reset. And I'm also going to get ready to uh, disable this uh, smoke detector. And yeah, that trouble did clear, but now it's back because I just disabled the detector. But yeah, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Ethan Blaze Alarms as well. Most of my viewers are not subscribed, so if you would consider subscribing, that would be amazing. And thank you very much as well, and I will see you in the next system test. Bye, everyone. Bye.